So first of all, you go to this website that is in the description and you download the 4.0 version. That is really important because the other versions don't have the profile of the Monoprice MP10. If you go to this website and download it, you can like immediately just select the Monoprice MP10 profile and everything is going to be set up. But if you stay and watch this video, you're going to get a lot more and you're going to have a better understanding and better settings. See ya. Hello and welcome to this video on how to set up the Cura profile for the Monoprice MP10. I know there is a lot of confusion about the Monoprice MP10 because I myself had a lot of difficulties setting it up so the print quality is acceptable and now I'm going to show you all my Cura settings and how to set it up step by step because there is not really any tutorial out there that exactly shows how to set it up and yeah. Let's jump right in. So to add a printer, you just go to add a printer, go to custom, and then you press custom FFF printer to 300, 300, and 400. There you go. Then you just press add and continue watching the video if it doesn't work well if you have major layer shifts so if another layer is just going somewhere it's, it's not supposed to go just bump it down to 50 millimeters a second that worked really well for me this profile is pretty much the really fine and perfect print but it's also a real really big sacrifice for quality is that you have to put in a lot of time like this piece takes four and 25 minutes and it's pretty small actually it's like 15 centimeters times 15 centimeters so now you can just get all the values so this is quality just pause it right here i'm gonna go to shell Add material is pretty good if you print it at higher values because then it just bonds together really good with the other layers and then you have a really strong piece. And I had some problems with warping at the first layer and if you have really pro a big problems, just uh, you can get yourself some expensive sprays on the internet. Um, what, what I do is take some tape that is just not really useful and then put in some of these old glue sticks and it works really really well and if you want to uh, really print it really fast so like i do with 120 millimeters a second i just really rec recommend it to tighten the y belts a little bit or even loosen up you have to test it out on your own i think loosen up is pretty good um, because it just slides a little bit and it's pretty much, it's pretty common. Like there's a lot of people on the internet that say they have a lot of problems with Y shifting. I had that too. So tighten the belt and now it doesn't shift anymore. 